are. Don't mind my hair, it's kind of wild. We just got off the Greyhound from Minneapolis to Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> we are waiting um, another 30 minutes to get on to the Greyhound to take us to Springbrook, Missouri. Um, Spring Field. We lived in an apartment complex called Springbrook, and I keep messing it up. Springfield, <laughs> Missouri. Um, thanks. Got my face is breaking up. Um, so stay tuned. We had too much going on in the beginning. We were rushing, so I wasn't able to get us from Minneapolis to here. We slept most of the way. Talk to you later. Just got on our Greyhound or on our um, shuttle. I'll be, I'll be taking you over to the motel where they'll get you checked in. All right. Okay, great. Your, your first class will be at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Right yeah, there at that. the motel. Yeah. Finally here. Ready to go. What your name is, you can eat breakfast. They'll have your name, they'll already have your name down on a clipboard, so. Okay. Um, other than that, good luck to you and welcome to Prime. And hope everyone has a great So the hotel we're in is like a old school hotel. Reminds me of a motel, but it's a hotel. It's older, but it's way better than I thought it would be. All right, guys, we just got to our room. Nothing just too fancy, but it was a walk. <coughs> this is our view on the outside. A bed, we've been sitting in a Greyhound bus for 12 hours. Well, we had a layover, but. Good morning, TV fam. I know it looks like we're wearing the same stuff again, but we still just got our coats on. He switched his hat up. It's day two today. Um, yesterday we panned out like eight hours of computer training. Yeah, I say do it in three days, but you know, we want to shout Right, just got it out the way. And one day. Yep, one day. So today we're going to be able to chill a little bit. About to go back to the room and sleep after we finish. They're supposed to be matching us up with our trainers today. We'll see how they go. They made us do a little assessment to see who they're going to put us with. I'm hoping that I don't get put with no, hey, man, you better do what the fuck. Just think about it. She said that they're trying to match us up with people from where we're from. So Yeah. It's I'm, over with for I'm what telling, we were hoping for. I'm telling you now, nah, I ain't taking the bullshit. Good morning, TV fam. Sorry, I'm always having to look and make sure that I'm legit. Got my messy bun. I'm sleep today. Um, my husband and I are up at six. Thanks, babe. Are up at six o'clock in the morning uh, to eat breakfast that they give us every day here for as long as we're doing orientation. About $5.75 a meal. And. This is what they give us. We ain't gotta pay that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, from here, we're going to orientation. They are very strict about time, so we need to be there on time. Um, otherwise, it'll be the end of us and our plan. So, just tuning in, we will check back. The camera's on you now, babe. Yeah. And she was almost late today, too. So if it weren't for me, we'd probably be out of here. Always. Trucker Paradise. Get you with your prime on, babe. You can't even tell because of your hood. Prime Inc., baby. Officially, well, we're not prime associates yet, but we might as well. We gotta do our behind the wheels training for three weeks until we pass the test to officially be hired. But until then, we have access to all the farm stuff. So, we are at their gym at the Millennium Building. Very nice. Hey y'all, this is the basketball court. Upstairs is where the movie theater is and um, 
laundry room, lounge area. Nobody's in here today, but I only come in here to get on the treadmill and the bike. I'm going to show y'all where Rico's at. He's in the um, gym right now. I got to it's like the YMCA, but it's for just us truck drivers of Prime. There he goes. Say hi, babe. Good morning. It's day Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, six. And we are splitting up. They're splitting us up. He's going on the road with his trainer, and then I'm going to be local with mine. So I'll be staying in the hotel room still. So now I'm waiting on my shuttle to go do my first four hours of training. And he's out here with me waiting. Got something to say to the camera? Oh uh, man, you know, we got to split up. Probably gonna be the longest we've been apart. So we've been together. <laughs> and, you know, we gotta get this money, so hey, I think we gotta do. Bruh, I've stayed here so long. Well, really, today's the 21st, so I've been here since the 2nd. I've stayed here so long that I've had to renew my card, like, to make sure it was activated. Maybe like five times. And because every time they do it, they only do it for three days. And I'm so irritated. Like, if the housekeeper wasn't outside to let me in my room, I'd have to walk my ass all the way to the front. And I wasn't trying to do that. I just came from there. So thank God for Maria. I'm grateful for you. I won't be leaving this room tonight till tomorrow. I don't got time. Checking out the pineapple mop head. Walking back to my room on this late day. Just went to go eat Christmas dinner, but it's the same stuff from lunch. And I didn't want it. So, got me out my room though. So, it feels really good out here, y'all. <laughs> Pickups. I did pick me up a minute made. Pineapple mango, I believe. Peach, sorry, peach mango. Pretty tasty. I'm between both. I'm between both cones. And I'm gonna straighten out my wheel. Hence why truckers keep their windows open sometimes. And since it's uh offset to the left, my pivot point will be on the right. So now I can back up. It's actually my worst one to do because I have trouble. Backing to where my cone lines up with the outside of my tire on the right side. I can do it perfectly on the left. Okay, I think this is it. I gotta get out and look. I just set my tires. I mean, my brakes. I got. out on the pad and not having to train since I'm a CDL A holder now. <laughs> my truck that I passed my CDL in. Good time. Okay y'all. I'm at the pad. Heard my man got a perfect score on the test. Come and congratulate. Uh, parallel. 
Oh, we ready knew. Yeah, it was over with then, huh? <laughs> On this bike, about to be on one of these treadmills over here. It's a nice little basketball court that they got set up. Now I'm over here playing this game. All right, it's recording. Wish me luck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Super slippery. Ugh. Out of breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. He's doing the same. The sunset looks so pretty. And through the glass, it looks not as good as it does. What it do, y'all? Feeling real good because I'm finally done with this training. Um, I'm going to head back to Springfield today. Should be back there tomorrow morning to uh, meet back up with my wife. We've both been out for like four and a half months. It's been a long, hard uh, four and a half months being away from home and, you know, just getting used to doing, you know, the trucking and stuff. I had a few ups and downs, a lot of stuff to learn, but now I'm ready to, you know, go ahead and take on a new challenge of doing it with my wife, man. We've both been out learning. We've both been away from my son for a long time. You know, I got to see a lot of stuff while I've been out here. I got to learn that it's, uh, it's way harder than a lot of people would think it is. You know, it's a lot more to it than just driving the location to location. But I'm just glad it's done. I'm glad I finally got it through with it. And, uh, you know, like I said, it took a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice. And I had to, you know, you know stick it out. You know, it wasn't easy. But uh, it's done. I'm just finally, finally glad it's done and I can move on. You know, just another chapter closed, trying to open up another one and keep it pushing, man. You know, the show don't stop, man. Now we're finna get in our own truck and run stuff how we want to run it together, you know, and just go from there. Just made it back to Springfield. It's been a long five months. It's bittersweet. Sweat. Just hey, drove for eight hours. So. Just so hard. How run travel. Just got our first load. How you feeling? Good, good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they go the big boy right there, baby. First load, we finna head on out, baby. Ready to get this looch, this bread, you know what I'm saying? What's the day? The May 6th, yeah. 2020. First load, baby. First of many, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time to, you know, run this bag up, man, you know. Beautiful day out here, the sun is shining. We breathing, we healthy, we working. No Rona, you know what I'm saying? So we blessed right now. Get off the floor, boy. I'm doing, I'm doing some push-ups. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Only one push up.
Gittany, you see how fast he hit that lap? That boy, <laughs> How fast do it go? Like uh, okay. right, 16, 17 miles per hour. It's fast on this thing. <laughs> I'll let y'all get a little look at the scenery. Be, be some beautiful shit out here on the road, y'all. When you see me, nigga, you don't see money. I got some money, yo.